Hi, my name is John Storms, and I got a toy in the mail today. Let's see, it's all covered in Chinese writing, which is just kind of cool. So I was going to open it up and see what I got here. I think I know what it is. I've been watching it for a while here. E31 to DMX interface. So this is a DMX bridge. So this is the Ethernet coming in. Those almost no, they're not these dip switches. That's an EEPROM. No. And then it comes out DMX here. Power, five volt power. You can set your IP address. It comes as 192.168.1.206. Web DMX, okay. There's Cat5 cable. These are some Cat5 to XLR3. Nice. European Universal Power Plug. Throw that away. Alrighty. Let's get this hooked up and <coughs> see what we can see. All right, so this is my new toy. This is a E131 to DMX bridge. Okay, so what that means is on my computer, I'd have my computer connected to Ethernet, and then it has its IP address. This bridge would also be connected to Ethernet on this port right there. And over that it talks E131. E131 is basically DMX over Ethernet. And then what it does is it has these four outputs, okay? And you can see they're labeled Universe 1, 2, 3, and 4, which is their default. And basically each one of these is like its own NTEC dongle. So each one of these would be a single universe. Here they're set up to be Universe 1 through 4, but you can configure them to be anything you want. And each one of those can have up to 512 channels. So you can have a bunch of dumb RGB controllers chained off of each other. For pixels, I use SAN devices, but I also have some dumb elements I want to add, so I have this uh, bridge. I do have an NTEC dongle, which would be the equivalent of just one of these, and I would have to connect it to my computer via USB. This way I can connect it by Ethernet and stick this closer to the lights. Uh, it has a 5-volt DC power supply, and I've been messing around with it, so I'm going to reset it back to its factory defaults. And the way I do that is I press Reset to reset the device. This web means that there's a web server active and DMX means DMX is active. So I push to reset and it resets it. And then I'm going to hold mode down while it comes up. Then I'm going to count the flashes. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to let go. Okay. So now it is set to factory default. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to Ethernet. Just like that. My little, my little switch here. And then here I have another Ethernet connection to the same switch that I will connect to my computer. Okay, and then by default, it says that its IP address is 192.168.1.206. So I come over to my computer. And I'm doing this one handed while I'm holding the camera. So 192.168.1.206. My wireless is on. Hang on. 
do not want my wireless on right now. Alright, so I disabled my wireless. I mean, it does fine for this, but it really screws up the rest of the family's internet connection. So here, you can see what the IP address currently is, what the gateway is set to, the subnet mask, and so on. Here you can see the statistics for each of the four um, universe ports. And this is what things are set up for. And then these are how the outputs are set up. So output one goes to universe one and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the IP address. Well, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to say subnet, which is the net mask. I probably don't need to do this because this is already set like this. Okay. Now I'm going to set the gateway. Oh look, it's already there from before to what my gateway really is. I am going to set universe 1 to be universe 50. And look at this. So I want it to be 51, 52, 53 and so forth. Look how nice that is. So the IP address is going to be 209. That way it doesn't conflict with anything else. Okay, now once you've done changing things, you do save zero. And now it should be saved. You, have, you can save it up to eight different places. So you can have eight different configurations. So if you use it one way for Halloween, a different way for Christmas, you can have two, up to eight different saved configurations. So I'm going to come over here. Gonna reset it. Now wait for the web light to come on. That blue light means the web server is going. And by default, it will run for five minutes and then disable itself. Then if you want to get to it, you have to reset it. So now if I want to get to the unit, I need to get to the unit by going to 209. And there it is. Everybody's here. So the next thing I need to do is I want to hook it up to a dumb, a dumb RGB controller. And it just so happens I have one right here. So here I have the connectors. Let's see if it'll focus for me. It'll basically say RGB and V+. And this is going to a dumb pixel strip. Not pixel strip, but a dumb RGB node. Okay? And it is, I have it hooked up to a 12 volt power supply, which is this guy, which hooks in right here. And then the part that we need to be concerned about is this one. This is the DMX control. Okay, so let me flip over here to the instructions. And the instructions are online and they're good instructions. So if I flip up here. Oh yeah, and it came with great stuff. So, see that it came with uh, with a Cat5 cable, right? In case you didn't have one of those, and it also came with four of these Cat5 to XLR3 cables too, which are really nice. And then, if you live in Europe, it came with one of these to handle the uh, the five volt power supply, so you can switch it over. But what we want to take a look at here is we want to take a look at the pinouts for the connection. Now if you happen to lose the document, it's also right here above Universe 2. So basically what it's saying is, is that pin 1 is your data plus, pin 2 is your data minus, and then pin 7 is ground. Okay. So if you look, and it even has this great diagram of how to look at your connector. Right, so if I'm looking at my connector, see if it'll focus for me. Focus for me, baby. Focus. You can do it. Maybe not. Okay. You get the idea that I'm holding an RJ45 jack. Okay. So, looking at it from this angle here, pin 1 is going to be on my left and pin one is it's green it's green stripe okay so pin one is green stripe pin two is solid green and then pin seven is going to be second from the right which is going to be brown stripe okay 
So on this side, on the left, pin 1 is, is the data plus, which is going to be my green stripe. The pin 2, the next one over, second one over from the from the left is going to be data minus, that is the solid green, and then my brown stripe is my ground. Okay, now I come over here to my controller and I have the screw box for the DMX input right here. So if I flip that over, we can see data plus, data minus, and ground. And so I just wired them up exactly the same. Okay, now the universe is set by the configuration and the bridge. The channel is set by the dip switches. And by default, if you don't have anything set on this particular one, it is channel one. So what I'm looking at for these lights here is I'm looking at universe 50, channel one. Okay, so now I'm gonna try plugging this guy in. The lights will probably flash. That's okay, they didn't blow up, they're just powering on. I have a green light here, which means I have power, but I don't have DMX signal. Why? Because I have not plugged in this guy. So I plug him into port 1, which I have configured for 50. Again, it's hard to do with a camera. Alright, so now he's plugged in. The little light is flashing. That means it is getting a DMX signal. So now what I want to do is I want to, I want to play with it. Alright, so I come back over to here, and I'm going to fire up Light Aroma. I can go back and use that. Come over here, set up the, start up the Light Aroma control panel. Okay, I right click on my little icon. I go to, actually I want to go to Network Preferences which I can get to through the sequence editor I'm going to do through here. So here are all my networks. Now this is my Lightorama network. I only have the one Lightorama off of COM port 3, but I'm configuring DMX. Up top here, the 207, the 208, that is my, um, those are my pixel trees. And this, the Universe 12 and 13, those are my mega reads. Now what I want to do is I want to configure Universe 50. So I scroll down. And I already have it set up here, so let me pull it up to edit so you can see how I configured it. So the adapt the protocol is E131. So here I click on E131. I like to use unicast, but here I actually need to use multicast. So if I use to specify it, you know, I could type in 192.168.1.209, but guess what? It doesn't work because it's expecting multicast. What's your clue? Right here. It says multicast format. So pretty much that's what I'm using. And that's it. Okay, so Universe 50. Now I could also set up Universe 51, 52, and 53 to also go to that same device because they'd all be hanging off of that. And I could each off of each one of these ports, I could hang off of, I could put 512 of these individual devices. So I could have 1,024 of these between two ports. You know, and then for four, it would be, what, 2,048. So you can have a lot of devices hanging off of this one uh, DMX bridge. All right, so I hit apply, I click OK. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to start up my sequence editor. Okay. And let's see, I am going to say, let's do a new, I'm just going to do an animation sequence. Okay, and then this guy here, I'm going to say, I'll say insert, oops, insert an RGB channel below, does it really matter? Now I'm going to configure this. To be a DMX device that sets it up for Universe 1, I need Universe 50. And what channel? Well, it's channel 1, unless I change those dip switches. So now it's all set. So now it's just a matter of putting some color in there. So 
I get this color fade thing and I swap it and I swap it again and I choose a different color like blue and I swap it again alright that's good enough so now what I'm going to do is I do I'm going to highlight this little piece because I only care about that I'm going to say loop at the end and play the selection and play and voila see that now that is one node that is you know just one set of dumb RGBs off of a single three channel controller that is hooked up to a DMX bridge that is speaking E131 to the switch back to the computer okay pretty straightforward and each one of these ports replaces one of those Entech Pro dongles. So this green wire, which is a regular Ethernet cable I just cut the end off of, can support up to 512 of, of these types of devices. Now you can have, this is a three channel controller, but you can also have um, 27 con channel controllers. And this actually is using three channels. This is starting at one as using one, two, and three. But yeah, you so you can have so you can't really have 512 of these, but you can have, you know, 170 per universe RGB channels. Okay, a little light there slashing because we're getting DMX signal. And if you look on here, that green light is flashing because it's getting DMX signal. Very nice little device. So. Um, these just came from some guy that was selling them on eBay. The 12 volt DC power supply came from Holiday Coro. I think this came from Holiday Coro, and thanks to Clyde Lindsay, I was able to get it to work. So he's the one that initially uh, taught me how to everything wire up. His videos are amazing. Highly recommend that you watch them. And then everything is set up here. Uh, I think that's that's it. Very cool toy.